we're going to um, deviate from the usual objection of the week. Matter of fact, we're not going to do the, the objection of the week anymore. Okay. What I'm going to do from this episode onwards is to give my um, what you call this to give my take on on the most pressing issue at hand. Then I'm going to um, uh, give you on what you should do as a home-based entrepreneur or a network marketer. Money and Life Movement, JJ Ramos here. Welcome back to my channel and it's time again for Advocacy Friday. Now, <clears throat> I got a, uh, I got a, I got a really good blog post for you, but like uh, the negativity is a demon episode, part one is gone also from YouTube, but it's not going to stop me from, from, uh, from talking about it right now because, well, if you're an ever marketer or if you're just start if you're just if you have already decided to to venture into network marketing maybe you should watch this video till the end okay <clears throat> now the title of this, um, this blog post is is originally three steps to do before you join a network marketing venture now part one is a YouTube video that's gone already. Again, like in the case of negativity is a demon, I deleted it by accident from YouTube. Okay? But, part two is probably, uh, it's probably the most vital part of, uh, of, the, of the entire blog post. Okay? Of the entire, uh, what you call this, blog, a crossover blog post, if you may. I wrote this. Um, I wrote. I wrote this post probably. Let me check. All right, my me my memories. My memories are uh, a little. Bit, my memories a little bit dull sometimes. Okay, let's check that. Okay, so November 9, twenty eighteen. So more or less two years ago. Okay. We're going to talk about the most important part of the decision-making process for network marketing. And that's considering, and that is to consider the long-term value of the business you're being offered. Okay. Now remember, from this point onwards, it won't be a just, it will be uh, just about network marketing. You can apply this, uh, you can apply this, uh, this opinion of mine to any business being offered to you or any business that you're seriously studying about st seriously studying for okay <clears throat> well people who people who always think short term they are the first ones to lose in any business especially network marketing Daniel if you're if you're going to join a network marketing venture by <clears throat> by having short-term goals or thoughts or even ideas about it, sinasabi ko sa inyo, you are not going to last. You will probably last 90 days at the at the least. Okay? Kaya nga sinasabi nila the first 90 days is crucial. Very true. Kasi doon nalalaman kung gano ka long term ang mindset ninyo when it comes to network marketing. Doon lalabas sa unang 90 days ninyo sa pagiging network marketer or sa pagiging member nyo ng isang network marketing company. Okay? Now, <clears throat> I'm very sure, I am very sure, you don't want that to happen. Okay? Kaya ngayon pa lang, erase any. As I was saying, <clears throat> you should 
put into heavy consideration the long-term value of the business. In order for you to do that effectively, kailangan nyo munang burahin lahat ng short-term thoughts ninyo dito. Right here. Right here. Sa sentido nyo. Erase all your short-term thoughts from your heads so that you can fully embrace the long-term or if not, well, if not embrace, uh, consider the long-term value of the business being offered to you. Right? If you've done that, have you done that problem? Have you done that just now? If yes, well, keep on watching and I'll show you the three factors to consider. Okay? The three factors that will help you uh, determine the long-term value of a particular network marketing business or the business is being offered to you. Okay? Now, <clears throat> as I'm checking this blog post of mine, okay? Oh, by the way, this is the first time I'm going to uh, do an episode using a using a mobile phone. Okay, if you can, uh, if you if, if you've been following the show, probably the first four or five episodes of this show, I've been I, I did that through a mobile phone or my tablet. Okay, this will be, this will be the first time in uh, in quite a while that I'll be doing an episode with a mobile phone, and with my lap and with my laptop so i'm using both my gadgets at the same time for one for this episode okay suerte nyo the first thing to consider okay for well, the first thing to study to get the to get the long term value of the of the business offer is the starting profit margin okay now <clears throat> i'm i'm uh probably wondering right now what you're what you want to ask me JG bakit bakit starting profit margin bakit simple well if your if a starting profit margin is well is in what you call this uh, in my experience 10% or lower you may want to think a thousand times before considering it. These days, a 10% profit margin won't probably, um, won't probably help you, uh, what you call this? Won't probably help you cover your transportation expenses, at least. Alright? Don't expect a 10% profit margin to to answer for your internet bills, your phone bills, or even your co-working space bill. It's not going to happen. All right? We're in 2020 now. I wrote this blog post 2018. This is two years ago. 2018 is different from 2020. The financial landscape, that is. Okay? 10%? But I see you lang yun eh. So, the starting profit margin is very important. Okay, if it's above, based on my experience again, if it's above twenty, if it's above ten percent, okay, you'll you'll do fine. At least you can get back your trans, get back your transpo. Okay, <clears throat> at least you can back, get back your transpo. And well, again, ten percent profit margin. Baka dun lang kay sa barangay nyo. <laughs> Baka hanggang doon lang kayo sa barangay nyo. When it comes to transportation expenses, 10%, hanggang doon lang kayo. Okay? But if it's above 10%, well, you can probably stretch it out to um, to the next barangay or even to the next town or city. The most bang for your buck. Right? That's why, first thing to consider is the starting profit margin. If it's above 10%, yep. That will cover at that will cover at least your transpo or even or probably your uh, fuel expenses if you have your own car. Okay. So second, <clears throat> this is probably my this is probably um what you call this my uh, second favorite 
uh, criteria for <laughs> the a comp for a business's long term value. The commission rates of the first two levels. Okay. Now, in all my years of network marketing, I've also seen compensation plans where they're um, where they're bottom heavy. Bottom heavy, ah, hindi top heavy. Kumbaga, sa first two levels nyo, gasing ko lang na porsyento ang ma-earn ninyo. But when it comes to the, but as the, as your network deepens, the levels get, the levels get lower. The commission rates get higher. Yun ang tinatawag na bottom heavy. Okay? <clears throat> There's a catch, uh, not, not exactly catch, there is a drawback to this kind of compensation plan, yung mga bottom heavy. <clears throat> the member is now forced, okay, the, ne the member is now forced to, to place his or her direct, new direct downlines under those, under those downlines. He, he or she is now forced to do that. Now, <clears throat> I often see this in non-binary compensation plans. I don't know why. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Okay, If the compensation plan is binary, pero bottom heavy, that's fine. Kasi mabilis lang fill up yun eh. In a binary compensation plan, tapos bottom heavy, nandito yung highest, rebate, highest uh, commission rates nandito sa pinakababa. It's okay because, well, it's a binary compensation plan. You only need two direct downlines. The rest, they will spill over to the lower levels. Okay lang yun kung bottom, kung bottom heavy ang compensation plan yun. Now, here's the thing. There's also such a thing as a top heavy compensation plan. Whether it be binary, stair step, breakaway, I think most never marketing compensation plans are built or designed that way okay if you're just starting out in network marketing excuse me <clears throat> need a water break <laughs> if you're just starting out in network marketing you have to you you need that kind of a compensation plan mga top heavy. Within the first two levels, mala, mataas na ang rate. Mataas na ang commission rates na binibigay nila. Within the first two levels. Kasi, well, <clears throat> whether you're a, um, whether, whether you're just starting out or a veteran like me, personally, I would prefer that kind of a uh, compensation plan. Why? Kasi, You'll be putting your efforts within the first 90 days, of course. So, among nun, you'll be sponsoring a lot of you'll be sponsoring some people, but you have but there are some compensation plans that only limit you to a number of uh, a number of direct downlines. Okay. I've probably experienced this kind of compensation plan probably I think about five years ago. Yeah, about five years ago. Because uh, I was doing another network marketing company besides my current one. This was the time my my father was my father was really sick and he was hospitalized for a month for more than a month. Okay, I had to do this. Uh, I had to do this other network marketing business because well, um, the growth was uh, the growth was astounding. Okay, the growth was astounding. Chaka may may team talaga kami. <clears throat> we were only allowed uh, the compensation plan only allows us five people five people in our first level so mga direct namin agad lima lang so from the six onwards spill over na yun. now I believe um, that wasn't automatic <laughs> That wasn't automatically done by the system, done by the uh, the computer that controls the compensation plan. You have to do it manually. 
Uh, yeah, you have to do it manually. So, pipili ka ngayon sa mga direct downlines mo kung saan mo ilalagay yung bago mo. But, it is still quite, but you're still credited as the sponsor. Okay, so, commission rates, so your referral commissions, they're still, direct referral commissions, they're still yours. Normally kasi, in a network marketing, in a, uh, in a typical network marketing setup, the first two levels are your are your closest contacts. The first two levels. Kasi, if you're just starting out, of course, you have to you have to keep in constant communication with all right with the first two levels but uh, i think 60% of that 60% of your focus should be on your directs okay that is your core kasi they will make up your core now if there's someone from the second level who is just as focused as them then include them in your core basically you will be forming the core of your team within those first two levels. Kasi, from the second level, mayroong isa dyan na nag-stand out who is just as motivated, just as focused as your your directs. Well, you, well, you, you gotta take him on, you gotta take them on, you gotta take him or her under your wing. Okay? Because that's a willing student, eh. It's a willing, so to speak, it's a willing student. <clears throat> Especially if you're just starting out. Okay, that's what I'm. That's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Especially when you're just starting out. So if the commission rates in the first two levels are well enough to to help you build that team, the business you're being offered. Is well, is uh, is there for you long term? Okay. So after you've analyzed the starting profit margin and the commission rates for the first two levels, the last but not the least, it's probably the most important. You have to consider in the long term value of uh, the business offer is the overall culture. Okay. Now, medyo madali eh. Medyo madali i-determine yung overall culture ng isang network marketing company or the group that the group that is trying to sponsor you into that network marketing business. Madali i-determine yun. <clears throat> if they, well, sa experience ko, based on my experience, if they talk about, uh, if they talk nothing about, if they talk nothing else except how to earn, um, pera, magkano kikitain natin, magkano kikitain ng grupo, magkano ang ROI natin. Oh, for me, that is a red flag. That's a red flag. Why? Kasi, I don't know, ah. I, if the culture is like that, we can call it a culture of um, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> a money, a money, a money-based culture, which should not be. Which should not be. Okay. They see everything as they see uh, everything as peso signs or what well, dollar signs or whatever, whatever currency or whatever currency you have in your uh, from where you are. For us. And for me, well, if the group being, if the group that is offering me that network marketing opportunity only sees peso signs, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, I can't take their offer. Because I know what I'm going to, what kind of group I'm going to be in. Hey, puro pera na lang. They won't, they probably won't even care about your, about your welfare or your personal growth or even your family's growth. Okay? They will probably be inconsiderate of your uh, of your own personal time. Like example. They won't be nare medyo <clears throat> you won't be available for that particular meeting dahil well, 
something came something came up nyare ang uh, your your pet had to be taken to the vet okay to them malit na bagay lang yun malit na bagay lang yun or nyare uh, something came up uh, my kid had to be uh, my kid had a fight in school so pinatawag ko ko ng principal I have to be there of course malita bagay lang sa kanila yun to them they only see you as a peso sign they only see you as a um, as a cash cow okay they'll, they'll only see you as a cash cow now if the culture is positive like um yeah, they, they yeah they do they do talk about the compensate they do talk about the compensation plan but not that often. Mas nangingibabaw sa kanila yung uh, yung personal welfare mo, yung uh, yung kalagayan ng pamilya mo. Okay. And they're not doing that to close you, to to close you on the deal. They are do, they are asking those kinds of questions just out of the blue kasi mayari uh ko mo yung uh, yung anak mo na napaaway sa eskwela ko mo naman siya without without meaning without uh just just asking just asking maybe you should consider joining them okay you won't be just uh, you won't be just joining an organization you'll you'll be having a new barcada okay um in this world of network marketing we well for in my in my honest opinion the network marketing industry needs more friends than business associates okay people who would would care about your personal life people who can be friends to you besides uh, besides being business partners people who can also be mentors to your kids if you're well if you have a family people who can let's call this people who can hold you accountable can hold can hold you accountable for for being a for not just being uh, a member of the a member of their network marketing team but as a person okay. accountability is important pero if they if they hold you too accountable for your um, for your business goals pera pera na nalabanan dyan you join the wrong group but if they hold you accountable for for any mistake you make not just the uh not just the not just the business decisions that you make for your own part of the business okay some uh, they and they're also probably can be approached for um uh, so call this for someone you can someone you can talk to regarding your regarding personal problems okay here's one thing here is one tip i can give you if you can tell them your personal problems and they give you and they don't brush it off and they do not brush it off they address it right right there and then okay yung tipong talagang bibigyan ka ng somewhat helpful solution to that personal problem of yours then consider joining that ano, that network marketing business that particular group okay <clears throat> now here's the thing not all network marketing companies police the ranks the majority of them do not do so <laughs> okay halos walang pakiyamang yan so if you're if a group in a network marketing company can police their own ranks kung yari uh, you did something that is unethical Okay. If you join the wrong group, here's what they're going to say. Good job. Galing mo. <laughs> you did something unethical tapos ita thumbs up ka lang. 
Mukhang pera yung grupong yun, ibig sabihin. Now, on the flip side, if the, uh, if you do something spammy or salesy, tapos nakita ng isang kagrupo mo na, kagrupo mo and they, they would PM you, they would even text you, they even call you, sabi, sabihin, sasabihin siya, Uy! Bakit ganito ginawa mo? Mali ito, uy! Ba, eh... Take down that post right away, tapos i-rewrite mo. Okay? Mali yan. Unethical yung ginagawa mo. <laughs> if that, if that, uh, if that, if the group being offered, uh, that is offering you that never marketing opportunity is like that, by all means, join them. Join them. Because they know, because they know the ethical business practices. Okay? Importante yun. Especially if you're trying to build your own brand, your own personal brand, your own identity in the network marketing industry. Yeah. You're promoting a, you, you're a member of this network marketing company, but you have your own identity. You have your own identity. Importante yun. If you join a group that is, uh, that upholds the highest ethical and professional standards, by all means, join ka na. You will learn a lot from those people, from those kinds of people, right? If you want to read that blog post, of course, link in the description. Okay. I still don't know why I. Hindi ko talaga alam kung bakit bakit ko binura yung yung first part na yun. But um, at least the most important part of of scouting. Uh, of that post is here. It's still here. And ito pinaka important in the last part. So, <clears throat> before joining a never marketing venture, please consider the long term value of the offer. Okay? It may not, you may not have the same steps as I use, like the, 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 three, the three steps I mentioned just now. You may not have the same three steps, but Please, consider the long-term value. Okay? Open your brain a bit. Produce more brain cells for it. If you weigh your options to the long, for in, in, it, in the offer's long-term value, I assure you, if you decide to join that business, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be, you're gonna be very, you're gonna be very happy with it. Say, you weigh your options, and ang uno mo talagang kinusilo yung long-term value. Okay, it's time for, nope, not the objection of the week anymore, the advice of the week. Okay. I just received this from the courier. Yay, knock out. From Little Warrior, ito. Ayan, it test natin ngayon. It test ko sa mismo unan ko. Pango? Pango? Okay siya. We're going to um, deviate from the usual objection of the week. Matter of fact, we're not going to do the, the objection of the week anymore. Okay? What I'm going to do from this episode onwards is to give my... Um, what you call this? To give my take on, on the most pressing issue at hand. Then I'm going to uh, uh, give you on what you should do as a home based entrepreneur or a network marketer. Right? Now, the most pressing issue right now is the coronavirus. COVID 19, as we Filipinos call it. Or. Former name is Enkov, 
or some people would uh, would call it the Wuhan virus. Okay, it's well, we know all, we we all know why it's called the Wuhan virus because it was it first broke out in Wuhan, China. Right? Hence for the name Wuhan virus. Now, <clears throat> you have to understand. You people have to understand. Okay, I don't care what your what your concepts are of this virus. Here is my concept based on what I've learned from high school and college. In case, uh, in case you don't know, I hold a degree in physical therapy. So I know a thing or two about diseases, their origins, history, and the ways to prevent it. Okay, the, ways for, the ways to protect yourself. Now, as I've said before in the phone tab diaries, NCOV or COVID-19 is a flu strain. All right, it's a flu strain. So the only means to prevent it are three things: um, eat healthy, protect protect yourself in especially in highly urbanized areas, and most of all, wash your hands as frequently as possible. That's all. Very simple. Very simple preventive measures, all right? These preventive measures, measures, sorry, although simple, can prevent you from catching this virus. Now, I do not give a fuck if you're scared as hell. The only way to alleviate your fear is by following those three, all right? Eating healthy, well, all you have to do is up your vitamin C intake, all right? And do not eat foods that will compromise your health in the long run, okay? Those with um, kidney disorders, of course, put your face mask at, wear your face masks at all times when you're outside the, outside the house. And if you're diabetic, same thing right you should triple your efforts okay whether you're sick or whether you're you have an underlying condition or not triple your efforts to keep yourself healthy that's all you're gonna do with this virus now <clears throat> there is an economic impact when it comes to COVID-19 first proof is that the Chinese stock market Within three days of the breakout, it crashed 9%. Oh, not say crashed. Went down, just went down 9%. Well, that's, a, uh, that's significant okay? from a business standpoint. That's significant. Okay. As an ever marketer or home-based entrepreneur, you're asking, what does it have to do with me? What does it have to do with me? Well, for one thing, you'll be encountering objections like, Nako, COVID-19 eh. Tsaka na tayo, tsaka na natin pag-usapan. <laughs> Bigla-bigla objection of the week ang ano-usapan. But hey, you will be encountering objections like that. If you encounter objections like that, well, just reschedule. Right? It's... It's practically an act of God. Okay? It's a totally unforeseen event. So be lenient to your be lenient to your prospects. Okay? Be lenient to your prospects. Now if for if you have a business team, of course, if you're a network marketer, you have a business team. As long as uh, the fear of COVID-19 is there, you can always do your meetings online. Phone, all right? Text. That's ex that's uh, that's the only excuse. Well, that's that's the only excuse, practically. If unforeseen events like this uh, occur again, be lenient to both your prospects 
and your teammates. Okay? What about your teammates? Again, you can always meet online. You can always meet through phone. You can always do meetings through text. Okay? That's the that's the only that's the that's a valid excuse for meeting up online. Doesn't have to be face to face, okay? Of you piritin. There's a there's a COVID-19 paranoia right now. Okay, the key the main key word for this issue for this uh for this uh for the matter at hand is well leniency. Okay? Be lenient to practically everyone. Right? Take advantage of technology. Take advantage of whatever whatever resources you have now. Oops. Sorry. Take advantage of whatever resources you have now so that you can do your business as productively as possible. If you found value in what you just uh, what you just uh, what you just saw from this video, you know the drill. Hit that to subscribe, hit the bell, and comment with done. This is the second to the last episode of season one of Advocacy Friday. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the season finale. Adios, money and life movement.